Good morning. <laughs> so on behalf of the Dynamica Inc., uh, I'm pleased to welcome everyone to today's Understanding Everyday Life Symposium. As you may know, for the past 10 years, I've led a team dedicated to developing a smartphone-based technology that can digitally capture human data of daily activities uh, and experiences. The technology was named Dynamica, and our slogan is making sense of the day, uh, which captures the essence of our business. So the Dynamica technology was granted a US patent in 2017. In 2018, uh, we established a university-backed uh, startup company, and this technology commercialization journey was a truly a collaborative effort. Uh, I'm extremely grateful to the Dynamica Inc. co-founders, Dr. Julian Wolfson, Dr. Chen Fu Liao, and Dr. Guang Yang. You will have a chance to meet them uh, today because they will serve as the presenters and the moderators in today's program. I'm also especially grateful to Dr. Gedas Adomayashuis, who is an information and decision science professor at the Carlson School of Management at the University of Minnesota. Gedas is not here today, but he, along with Julian Wolfson and I, were co-inventors of the patent we received in 2017. The main sponsor of this symposium is the National Science Foundation Innovation Corps program. Um, that is the i program. Uh, we initially used the i funding to travel to various places uh, to meet and network with uh, our potential clients and the collaborators, including exhibiting our technology at a conference in Washington, DC. While traveling was fun and exciting, uh, but we believe the best way to promote the use of our technology is to through the words of the researchers who have used our technology. So we came up with this idea to use the iCore funding to host a symposium that features and celebrates the cutting edge work done by our early adopters. Uh, it is our hope that this symposium will further broaden our network and build a community of supporters. When we reach out to our early adopters about this symposium idea, uh, their response was overwhelmingly positive. I'd like to take a moment, thank our morning uh, session speakers. So our early adopters, I know you know them, uh, they are in the program for sure. They are our morning session speakers. So I want to say thank you for the creative work you do. Each of your work demonstrates how the seemingly mundane data on people's everyday life can lead to groundbreaking research. Your work is the best proof that Dynamica is a powerful tool for advancing research in social and health sciences. And I thank you for being here today presenting your groundbreaking research. Without you, this symposium would not have been possible. So as a part of this opening speech, I'd like to briefly introduce the Dynamica technology. So I have a couple slides here um, about the technology itself. Um, so as you can see that uh, uh, our technology is smartphone based. Uh, because smartphone has a mobile sensing capability, right? There is a GPS receiver, um, and there is the other motion sensors embedded in smartphone. So with the continuous sensing data, uh, we, we utilize machine learning and artificial intelligence to derive meaningful activity and trip data. Uh, so we are able to segment activities and trips, because activities are essentially where people are traveling. Uh, trips are essentially people are making movements in space. And we are able to predict activity type. We are able to predict a trip mode based upon the sensing data. 
But as you know, that a smartphone is not going to be smart enough to know everything about your daily activities and experience. There are certain aspects of your activities and experience just simply cannot be sensed by a smartphone. So for example, who you are with and how do you feel, right? Are, are you happy? Are you sad? Um, are you tired, right? Um, so the, the app essentially is a hybrid system where we bring mobile sensing data with the human input data together because smartphone is also, ha also has this serving capability, right? So when we have combined sensing, serving, and the machine learning, um, you know, that's essentially uh, our technology. So the essence of our, um, I, I think the core innovation here is this novel integration of objective mobile sensing and the subjective human input data. Now what's amazing about uh, doing novel integration is that mobile sensing data can help to uh, uh, facilitate the recall of human uh, input data. And also the human input data could help us to validate the machine learning algorithm uh, that uh, uh, we, we develop, uh, you know, we embed in our technology. So it's kind of like a positive feedback loop that eventually that uh, our app, uh, you know, after several, uh, you know, days of data collection, it's a pretty intelligent uh, to predict, uh, you know, your people's daily activities and uh, travel behavior. So I, I just wanted to show you kind of, uh, uh, this is uh, the type of data we can get from uh, our smartphone-based technology. Uh, so this is a participant who carried, a, uh, who carried his smartphone uh, with him with Dynamica installed for seven days. So here you can see that uh, the uh, uh, wider uh, bars shows the activity and trips during the day, and then the signal bars, uh, the signal green bars, uh, illustrate the happiness level, okay? Um, and uh, as you can see, there are some patterns when this person is at work, it seems that uh, uh, you know, he is less happy compared to uh, doing leisure, recreation, or eating out activities, which is not surprising, right? Um, I just wanted to highlight that, you know, this is actually, uh, you know, almost more than 10 years of development. Um, it, you know, we, uh, it, it has been a long way to get this far. Um, uh, some of you may actually have seen the UI we had in 2011 back then, right? It's a, a you know, very rough design. And then in 2015, we made a major improvement. And the 2015 prototype actually led to our patent in 2017. But at the time, the app was called Smart Track. But still, you can see that the UI is not as polished as 2020, uh, 2021. Um, so the 2021, I that's, that's, that's the version that uh, uh, we, have, um, uh, we have used so far. But just for information, uh, just in past year that we have made a lot of improvement to the UI and also a lot of uh, functionality improvement to the app, uh, which uh, you will uh, see a preview uh, this afternoon. So I just wanted to highlight a few things. Uh, you know, the 10 years of development, uh, we received a patent. There were four doctoral dissertations developed. Uh, either around the Dynamica technology or uh, just uh, utilizing Dynamica data. Uh, a total of 18 research grants, uh, you know, were, uh, we received uh, either uh, developing the Dynamica technology or using the Dynamica technology to collect data. And uh, more than 30 publications. And also good news to share with you that uh, uh, we recently relieve, received the, the STTR award from the National Institute of Health. And uh, this award is, a, is, a, uh, is truly about uh, technology commercialization. So it's actually, there is a, a less research, more about technology commercialization. And we're going to apply our technology uh, in cancer care uh, industry. Um, and uh, I want, with that, I wanted to actually uh, thank uh, two researchers at the University of Minnesota, Rachel Vogel and Anne Blaze, uh, 
uh, who uh, kind of uh, give us the inspiration to look at uh, the application of eye technology in cancer care. So, um, and I also wanted to give you a brief tour of today's program. Um, so we had just had, uh, so the morning uh, sessions, uh, we're, going to, we're going to explore a wide range of topics ranging from time use and health outcomes among at-risk populations to the effects of environmental exposures on health disparities. Uh, these are timely and important topics because uh, uh, almost all the presentations touch upon uh, human health as well as uh, uh, social equity. Uh, after the morning session, so we will have a lunch break. The lunch break is also time for networking and making connections. So we hope that you take advantage of this in-person event um, to explore potential partnership that could advance your own work. Um, the afternoon session will feature a short presentation from Dr. Guang Yang, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Dynamica Inc. Um, so his presentation will summarize the most recent updates we made to our technology. Following Guan's short presentation, our senior project manager, uh, Dr. Andy Becker, will lead a discussion around the future Dynamica initiatives. So in closing, I want to thank you all for taking the time to join this symposium. Thank you for being here, for participating, and for lending your expertise on this important topic of understanding everyday life. Thank you. <laughs>